The multiverse has always been a fascinating concept that captured the imaginations of many comic fans throughout the years. If you're unfamiliar with the concept, it refers to the collection of alternate realities and parallel universes, each with its own unique characters, storylines, and histories. However, understanding the DC multiverse can be a daunting task, as it is a complex web of realms and dimensions that were not always clearly defined, and its history is marked by various reboots, retcons, and alternate timelines. For years, fans have debated and speculated about the nature of the multiverse, with some even creating their own unofficial maps and theories to explain its intricacies. It wasn't until the release of Grant Morrison's comic series Multiversity in 2014 that the map of the DC multiverse was fully revealed. Morrison, who is known for his love of metafiction and his ability to weave complex narratives, created a multiverse that was both familiar and new, expanding on the concepts and characters that had been introduced in previous DC stories while also introducing new ones. The map of the DC multiverse that Morrison created offers readers a comprehensive look at the different realities that exist within the multiverse, as well as the various cosmic forces and beings that govern them. So, join us as we explore this map and discover the many realities that exist within it. From the familiar worlds of Earth-0 and Earth-2 to the strange and surreal realms of Limbo and the Underworld, we'll be taking a deep dive into the various dimensions that make up this incredible universe. Whether you're a longtime fan of DC Comics or simply curious about the multiverse, this video is sure to be an exciting and informative journey. Part 1. The Core Let's begin our journey by exploring the heart of the DC multiverse, the House of Heroes. Situated at the very center, this extraordinary location serves as a central hub and meeting place for heroes from countless alternate Earths and parallel universes within the vast multiverse. Its existence transcends the boundaries of any specific reality, existing outside the constraints of space and time. Originally established by the Enigmatic Monitors, a powerful and ancient race tasked with safeguarding the multiverse, the House of Heroes fell into desolation when the majority of Monitors met their demise, leaving only a single Monitor to watch over the countless realms within the multiverse. The House of Heroes stands as a testament to the immense scale and diversity of the DC multiverse. Within its walls, heroes from all walks of life and across infinite realities converge, ranging from familiar heroes such as Superman to bizarre characters like Captain Carrot, an anthropomorphic rabbit with superpowers. It serves as a reminder that, despite the disparities and variations among them, these heroes possess the capacity to unite and collaborate, pooling their strengths to protect the multiverse from existential threats that no single Earth could combat alone. Adjacent to the House of Heroes, we encounter a realm that many of you are likely familiar with, the Rock of Eternity. This mystical domain holds great significance, as it is the birthplace of the superhero Shazam's incredible powers, and this is where the seven deadly sins are imprisoned. Within its ancient walls lie the imprisoned seven deadly sins, and it serves as the sanctuary for the wise wizard who bestowed Shazam and Black Adam with their extraordinary abilities. The origins of this realm can be traced back to approximately 5,000 years ago when it came into existence. The Rock of Eternity is a unique location, which was formed by the convergence of two colossal rocks, one hailing from the depths of hell and the other from the heights of heaven. This merging of celestial and infernal forces imbues the realm with unparalleled power and a delicate balance between light and darkness. As we step beyond the boundaries of the Rock of Eternity, we arrive at the Array of Worlds, a collection of universes, each holding its own unique reality within the DC Comics multiverse. At the heart of the Array lies Prime Earth, the central universe that serves as the primary backdrop for DC's iconic stories. This Earth is home to DC's main continuity and characters that we are all familiar with. But the wonders of the Array don't stop there. Venturing further into this cosmic tapestry, we encounter alternate realities that challenge our perception of familiar characters and storylines. Take Earth-3, for instance, an intriguing mirror image where the Justice League's moral compass has been inverted, casting them as malevolent figures, known as the Crime Syndicate. It's a realm of ethical ambiguity and twisted versions of our beloved heroes. Then there's Earth-49, also known as the Injustice Universe. In this stark divergence, the line between hero and villain blurs as a tragic turn of events sends Superman down a dark path. 
The resulting conflicts ignite a compelling exploration of power, corruption, and the consequences of unchecked authority. But there are even stranger encounters within the array. For example, on Earth-43, an Earth where everyone is a vampire. And let's not forget Earth-8, a fascinating universe that brims with heroes bearing striking resemblances to their counterparts from Marvel Comics. The space between the universes is called The Bleed, an interdimensional space that serves the role of the barrier between realities. Think of it as a comic in-between zone. Moreover, The Bleed plays a role in the stability of the multiverse itself. It acts as a sort of buffer zone, containing the energies and forces that would otherwise collide and cause catastrophic disruptions across the different realities. In essence, The Bleed is the connective tissue of the DC multiverse, linking its countless universes together and providing a conduit for interaction and exploration between them. At the edge of the array of worlds, we have the Speed Force Wall. The Speed Force is a cosmic energy field that exists beyond the realms of time and space. It is a fundamental force that fuels the incredible speed and abilities of speedsters like the Flash. The Speed Force is not just a source of superhuman speed, it is an extra-dimensional energy based around velocity and movement. It is the representation of reality and motion, being the very cosmic force that pushes space and time forward. Within the Speed Force, speedsters can enter a state known as the Speed Force Dimension, or Speed Force Nexus. In this realm, time and space are malleable, allowing speedsters to traverse through different eras and alternate realities. It provides a realm of existence where speedsters can travel and interact with the multiverse. But right at the Speed Force wall, we encounter two more fascinating realms. The first is Quiz, a remarkable world inhabited by a unique race known as the Radio Frequency Beings. Among these beings is Crackle, a prominent ally of Wally West, also known as the Third Flash. Quiz is a realm that exists on a different vibrational frequency, allowing its inhabitants to interact with and manipulate radio waves and electromagnetic energies. Moving on, we arrive at Wonder World, a captivating realm constructed by the ancient gods from the Fourth World. Its purpose is to safeguard the multiverse from the destructive force of Mageddon, a powerful war machine that once threatened to annihilate the old gods. Wonderworld stands as a bastion of protection, its foundations rooted in the combined might of the ancient gods. It acts as a bulwark against the malevolent forces that seek to disrupt the balance of the multiverse. Within this wondrous realm, the remnants of the old gods' power and knowledge are preserved providing hope and resilience in the face of formidable threats. Part 2. The Sphere of Gods As we venture beyond the array of worlds, we come across a captivating realm known as the Sphere of Gods within the DC Multiverse. This ethereal domain serves as the collective home for all divine beings that exist across various realities. What makes it particularly intriguing is the presence of dark counterparts for each realm located on the opposite side of the multiverse. The Sphere of Gods is a realm where the divine entities, with their immense power and influence, reside. Within this celestial expanse, gods representing different aspects and pantheons coexist, shaping the forces of creation, order, and destiny. What sets the Sphere of Gods apart is the concept of duality. Each divine realm within this sphere has a dark counterpart, mirroring its essence but with a twisted, malevolent nature. The placement of these realms is determined by several axes depicted on the map of the multiverse. The Y-axis represents the eternal struggle between order and chaos, while the X-axis embodies the opposing forces of the pit and the pinnacle. Undoubtedly, one of the most renowned realms within the sphere of gods is Apocalypse, the abode of Darkseid and other new gods. Darkseid, whom we commonly encounter in the comics, is actually one of his many avatars. His true form exists beyond the confines of the multiverse, surpassing the power of any member of the Justice League. Apocalypse itself is an infamously desolate world, plagued by crime and poverty, and governed with an iron fist by Darkseid, who relentlessly seeks to expand his dominion across the multiverse. Fortunately, there exists a formidable counterforce to combat Darkseid's malevolence and tyranny. On the opposite side of the multiverse lies the New Genesis, another celestial planet inhabited by the New Gods and overseen by the High Father, who happens to be Darkseid's brother. The High Father embodies the complete antithesis of Darkseid, driven by a noble purpose to bring peace and prosperity to all beings within the multiverse. 
The stark contrast between these two brothers serves as the catalyst for their eternal conflict. Viewed as personifications of good and evil, Darkseid and the High Father engage in an unending struggle that reverberates throughout the cosmos. Their clash embodies the fundamental clash between opposing forces, each representing profound ideologies that shape the destiny of the multiverse. While Apocalypse stands as a bleak testament to Darkseid's oppressive rule, New Genesis symbolizes the aspirations for harmony and well-being. Their conflict encapsulates the timeless battle between light and darkness, virtue and wickedness, which transcends individual realms and encompasses the very essence of existence. Adjacent to Apocalypse lies the realm of Hell, existing in opposition to Heaven on the other side of the multiverse. Hell serves as the abode of the damned souls, accessible primarily to demons and higher beings, including archangels. This fiery realm became the exile for Lucifer Morningstar, following his failed rebellion in heaven. Originally vacant, Hell started to receive the souls of deceased humans. Lucifer ruled over Hell for an astonishing span of approximately 10 billion years. However, growing weary of his existence and realizing his lack of obligation to the position, he relinquished his duties and retired on Earth. This led to a temporary closure of Hell until new rulers were appointed by God in the form of angels Duma and Remiel. On the opposite side, Heaven stands as the celestial abode of angels who serve the enigmatic and omnipotent being known as the Presence, the supreme god of the DC multiverse. It serves as the final resting place for the souls of the righteous, where they spend eternity in a state of bliss. According to Archangel Michael Demiurgos, Lucifer's brother who suppressed his rebellion, admission into heaven requires the completion of a certain number of good deeds, regardless of the inherent goodness of the soul. However, a soul already residing in heaven can vouch for another soul with insufficient good deeds, opening the gates for their entry. Heaven appears to be structured across seven levels. In the third heaven, a death angel possesses the ability to grant mortality to anyone desiring to leave the Silver City and reside in the mortal realm. The fifth heaven is home to the foundry where Zoriel's sword was forged, while the seventh and highest heaven is believed to house the throne of the Presence. The dichotomy between Hell and Heaven showcases the contrasting destinies of souls within the DC multiverse. Hell, a realm of punishment and torment, and Heaven, a realm of reward and eternal peace, represent the consequences of one's actions and choices during their mortal existence. According to the Presence himself, Hell is Heaven's reflection, and they define each other. Without Hell, Heaven has no meaning, and thus, Hell must exist. Adjacent to our journey, we encounter the realm of the Dreaming and its shadowed counterpart, the Nightmare. The Dreaming is a vast domain that encompasses the dreams of all living beings, serving as the destination where individuals find themselves while immersed in slumber. The supreme ruler of this ethereal realm is Dream of the Endless, also known as Morpheus. Morpheus is one of the seven extraordinary members of the Endless family, each representing distinct aspects of existence, it is worth noting that these beings are not mere personifications, but embodiments of the very concepts they represent. Within the dreaming, the profound origin of gods and the stories woven by humanity comes to life. It is a realm that births the essence of every tale ever dreamed up by the human imagination. At the heart of this realm stands Morpheus's castle, an awe-inspiring structure housing an infinite library. This library holds within its boundless shelves every story ever written, spanning the vast tapestry of human creativity throughout time. While Morpheus reigns as the primary inhabitant of the Dreaming, the realm is also populated by a myriad of creatures that dwell within the collective dreams of humanity. Among them is the Corinthian, a sinister figure born from nightmares, embodying the darkest aspects of the human psyche. Additionally, Abel and Cain, the characters from the very first story ever told, find their place within this realm, evoking a sense of ancient significance and narrative origins. Next realm on our journey is the Skyland. Skyland is home to all of the gods and pantheons that were worshipped by the ancient cultures of the planet Earth, including, but not limited to, the gods of Olympus, the gods of Rome, the Celtic gods, the divine bureaucracies of China, the gods of Mexico, and the gods of Oceania. Each pantheon occupies a different section of Skyland. Like all the realms in the Sphere of the Gods, 
Skyland has a companion realm that serves as its polar opposite. In Skyland's case, its companion is the Underworld. The Underworld includes all the lands of the dead and prison dimensions believed in by the ancient cultures of the planet Earth, as well as the Phantom Zone of Krypton. Those two realms are relatively recent additions to DC Mythos being introduced in 2015 comic book Multiversity. Naturally, there's currently not much information about these realms, but knowing the influence pantheons hold in DC cosmology, it is only a matter of time when we venture further into Skyland and the Underworld. At the outermost reaches of the Sphere of Gods lies the mysterious realm known as Limbo. Within this ethereal expanse, a unique gathering occurs, one that encompasses obscure and forgotten comic book characters who have temporarily faded from the pages of print. Here, in the depths of Limbo, these characters find solace and respite, patiently awaiting their return to the spotlight. What sets Limbo apart is the profound self-awareness possessed by its inhabitants. They possess a keen understanding of their fictional existence and yearn to once again grace the pages of comic books. The longing to be woven back into the narratives that birthed them permeates their being, fueling their desire to be reintroduced to readers and embraced anew. Curiously, when these characters are eventually written back into their respective comics, a peculiar occurrence transpires. As they return to their home universes, they undergo a curious transformation. The awareness of their existence within Limbo and their understanding of their fictional nature mysteriously fades away, leaving them unaware of their brief sojourn in the realm between the panels. Part 3. Monitor Sphere and Beyond Beyond the expansive sphere of gods lies the awe-inspiring Monitor Sphere, the pinnacle of existence and the sacred domain of the Monitors. These enigmatic beings, bestowed with immense power, are responsible for safeguarding the intricate tapestry of the multiverse. Within the Monitor Sphere, a single realm stands as the epitome of vastness, nil. This world stretches across such immense proportions that the orrery of worlds, a complex network of realities, appears tiny in comparison. To interact with the orrery, the monitors must diminish their scale, for even they, with their formidable capabilities, are dwarfed by the sheer magnitude of Nil. It is within the depths of Nil that the very design and inception of the multiverse are believed to have taken place. This incomprehensibly vast realm serves as the blueprint for the multiverse's existence and perpetual motion. Even beings of great power and knowledge, such as the enigmatic fourth-dimensional entity known as Mr. Mixie, find themselves unable to fathom the intricacies of this realm. Here, time itself transcends its abstract nature, manifesting as an intricate clockwork pattern that stretches across the celestial expanse, captivating the gaze of those within the monitor sphere. At the outermost reaches of the vast DC multiverse stands the formidable barrier known as the Source Wall, an insurmountable divide that marks the boundary between existence and non-existence. Along this impenetrable wall, an eerie spectacle unfolds, the Promethean Giants. These towering frozen statues bear witness to the fallen gods, cosmic entities, and misguided beings who dared to challenge the limits of the wall, only to meet their eternal fate as an immutable part of its structure. Beyond the unfathomable source wall reside two enigmatic entities of unparalleled power and mystery, the Source and the Overvoid. The Source embodies an immense and primal energy, widely regarded as the wellspring from which all life in the multiverse emanates. Its origin and true nature remain shrouded in elusive enigma, but it is often considered an aspect of the Presence, the supreme deity who governs the vast DC Omniverse. The Source is a force of incomprehensible magnitude, weaving its essence through the tapestry of existence, guiding and nurturing life throughout the countless realms. In stark contrast to the Source, the Overvoid looms as an infinite expanse, an eternal, timeless white void of nothingness. Within this boundless expanse, the entirety of the Omniverse floats. It is believed that the Overvoid encompasses realities far beyond the confines of the DC multiverse, housing its own pantheon of heroes, gods, demons, and other awe-inspiring entities. It is within this vast expanse that the DC multiverse finds its place, a single thread woven intricately into the larger fabric of the Overvoid. In conclusion, 
The DC multiverse is a tapestry of infinite realms, dimensions, and cosmic forces, each contributing to the rich and expansive mythology that has captivated fans for decades. From the House of Heroes to the Rock of Eternity, from the Speed Force to the Wonder World, from Apocalypse to Heaven, and from the Dreaming to the Source Wall, the DC multiverse is a breathtaking amalgamation of diverse worlds and awe-inspiring beings. So, whether you're a longtime fan or new to the DC universe, I hope this exploration of the DC multiverse has ignited your curiosity and sparked a deeper appreciation for the intricate and fascinating world that lies within the pages of DC Comics. The DC multiverse is a testament to the limitless power of storytelling and the enduring legacy of these iconic characters and their universes. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the map of the DC multiverse. Until next time, may your adventures in the realms of DC be filled with wonder, excitement, and endless possibilities. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.